<laughs> Welcome to Hot Ones Depot Edition. I'm your guest host, Robbie Vapes. And now I see why there's so many notes on the table. This is going to be much easier than I thought it would be. Here with me is Chase, aka Cash. Can mm -hmm. I call you Cash? Can I call you Chase? Yep. Either or. I'm going to call you both. Okay. Excellent. Today we're trying a variety of hot sauces ranging from least hot to hottest. All right. Shall we get started? We shall. All right, we're gonna kick things off with a plain one. Okay. The Scoville rating, according to Lucas, is zero. According to the internet. According to the internet is zero. And Lucas, who is the internet? First question. Introduce yourself, what you do for a living, or if you're a student, what you're studying, uh, a little bit about backgrounds, hobbies, things like that. My name is Chase, um, nicknamed Cash. Right now I drive forklifts, but I'm slowly getting into the radio and voiceover industry, hence the uh, radio name. And I did not pick that myself, it was given to me by my teacher. Can we get a sample of your radio voice? <laughs> Thank you for watching Hot Ones Depot Edition. Tune in next time for more wacky adventure. We should have him post next. All right, guys. All right, Chase Cash. We're gonna kick things off with natural hot sauce now. Okay. Frank's red hot. Yes. Scoville yes. unit on this is 450. We have water. We have milk here as well. Help yourself. Because I'm hosting it on Lucas, I actually don't require too much hot sauce. <laughs> I don't have the same tolerance as Lucas, so. Not much in the cup, baby. Perfect. All right, we'll eat this one. Thank you. Oh look, there's Lucas. Why am I hosting then if he's here? All right, next question, while you're eating that one. What's the hottest hot sauce you've ever eaten? Um, that one. And how was it? I put it in chili and I immediately regretted it. Well, the good news is no chili here tonight. Sweet. The bad news is that sauce is here. Yeah. Awesome. All right, moving on down the line, we have Sriracha. Estimated school bill is at 2200. I'm going to take this baby one. One, two. See how you have more than me? It's because I'm already on the challenge tonight, and I'm not feeling it. I'm having a hard time eating chewing the chicken. All right, while you're eating that one, what's your favorite Nickelback song? Um, <laughs> Got to pull out this playlist? Yeah, I do. Can you pass me the phone? See which ones are on there? Yep. I like it. The Betrayal Act 3 or This Means War? <laughs> I've never heard of either of those Nickelback songs. I'm pretty sure they're not actually Nickelback songs, but we'll Google it after. We'll get Sam to fact check that one. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Moving on, we have Tabasco. The classic punishment sauce. And I heard Lucas saying something about doing a Caesar edition of this. I am in for that. Estimated Scoville units on Tabasco is 4,000. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Next question. Which way do you put toilet paper? To keep it loose. <laughs> ah, you're a loose man like myself. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's more convenient that way. It is. Mostly because our paper towel holder broke off the wall and too lazy to put it back. Right for Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up. Oh. <laughs> El Yucateco. El Yucateco. Or Diarrhea Edition. <laughs> That's what it says in the fine print, don't worry. We're not like gonna get flagged for this by the way, Lucas, right? Like they're not sponsoring us or anything? Nope. Good. The diarrhea version. Yeah, it's black. There it is. Are you sure this bottle's in date? 
<laughs> Yo, did we even check the dates on these? Uh, I bought them all recently, so I'm hoping they're good. Okay. Oh, I put way too much on. <laughs> yeah. It would have to be food in order to have an expiration date. That's true. Lab chemicals don't. Are we sure this is in date? Because the expiration date is actually rubbed off because it looks like it's been faded so much. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Can we get a close up on that? Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like, it's black, but it's got a slight, like, almost blue going on in there. <laughs> Might be in date. We don't know. We don't check these things. All right. All right. While well, you're in that one, what's the last text you sent? It cannot be a group message. Oh, it's good, isn't it? I think I don't know. That's disgusting. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. Not good. The last text I sent that was not a group message. On my way, ETA like 20 minutes, uh, depending on traffic. Was that the guy here tonight? Yes. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming down. Thank you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had any real guests on the show. So. Oh. Shots fired. <laughs> All right. Next one. My personal favorite. Heartbeat. Heartbeat, it's the one I've been looking forward to. Oh, this one's really good. Trips with the black sauce in case you get lost. Wait, yeah, that's the black sauce. There. <laughs> Get on the paper. Oh, there you go, just chicken crumbs. All right. Before we put this in. Lucas sent me a photo in preparation for this. Oh, yes. It's time. In preparation for this particular interview, please explain this photo. <laughs> ah, yes, okay. Oh, that is so good. Right? Mm. Well, let's put it up on the... Thing I, mean, yeah, I was doing a aircraft maintenance course at a college in Ontario and we were learning how to do props and I just started playing it like an air guitar and someone took a picture. Oh. <laughs> Lucas Picknick, better photos next time. Chase doesn't have one. Shawnee, you gotta send me some. Alright. Chase's sister is gonna send us some for round two. Alright, next up we have Lucas's favorite sauce. Secret Aardvark. Estimated skill goals on Secret Aardvark is 5,000. By the way, Heartbeat is estimated at 4,000. No, oh, shh, it's a secret. Oh, sorry, it's a secret. Which is which? Well, that's a black sauce. Let's start moving these out of the way here. Yeah. All right. Explain an embarrassing photo from your childhood. An embarrassing photo? <laughs> <laughs> Explain an embarrassing story from your childhood. Oh, no. like, well, oh no. Don't worry, Sam, let that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so me and one of my old friends were sitting in my room watching some um, Onion News Network. Uh, was one was um, a report on a new piece of technology. And I laughed so hard I started to choke and then threw up all over my bedroom floor and my friend's foot. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And how old were you? Um, 15. And the vomit you threw up, can I just ask what was, what was the consistency like? Any, any um, it was pretty it was, for the audience. It was pretty liquidy. Like what? Hot sauce? Was, a mm. lot. Yeah, if you, were, if you were to do a hot sauce version of your vomit, which one would most like, resemble your vomit? Heartbeat. Heartbeat, okay. So it was some, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm still gonna eat that as my favorite hot sauce, so it's nice trying to remember it for me. No problem. All right, next up. Pain, 95%. We tried to get 100%, but we couldn't find it, so we had to get 95%. Did I do it justice, Lucas? By the way, this is roughly 50,000 skill bills. It's like you've been watching this the whole time. I'm watching it. No, it's like I've been watching it the whole time. Oh. All right, where am I again? 
don't know which one the names are. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Oh, yeah, it's a barbecue with the sauce. I don't mind this one, actually. It's not too, too bad. Alright. Hot sauce for hot question. Explain your first kiss. It was at uh, summer camp up in northern Alberta. It was a survival camp. And yeah, just being out in the woods, you know, early teens, out alone in the woods. Okay. Yeah. Romantic. I like it. Next up, oh no, I think I'm missing one. No, no, no. Um, so next up is Heartbeat again. <laughs> no, it's not. It is the bomb. That is number eight. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna need some milk for this one, please. There's a cup of milk there. Excuse me one second. <laughs> uh, anyways, next one, the bomb insanity. Beyond insanity, actually. The bond beyond insanity. <laughs> Estimated Scoville's 135,600. Actual Scoville's infinity. <laughs> Here for some milk? Sure. Is that good glass? I have two good glasses here. Oh, yeah. I'll take my yours. Oh, I think so. Ooh, I like that one. Warm. Yep, that's how milk should be. Warm. Wait, we should check the best before you on this one, too. I just bought it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bugging Lucas. I was actually with him when he bought it, like, an hour ago. Like, three hours ago. Yeah, because people didn't show up on time, so... Yeah, if only people showed up on time. Yeah, you have way more than me, because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Alright. How much you got, Chase? A lot more than I do. Yeah. Show the camera. <laughs> Too late, sing his mouth. Alright, well, uh, plug your YouTube channel, organization, social media, anything you want. Yeah. Follow me on Twitch, Ivo Kintober. Ivo Kintober, for my mouth is full. I bet <laughs> That's so bitter. Ew. I-V-O underscore K-I-N-T-O-B-O-R for some fun times. I need a shotgun. That's the worst taste of all. I can taste it in my nose. I thought it was supposed to happen. This is so bitter. It's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I just want to go away. All right. Next up. Meaty Vegan Scorpion, made it here in Calgary. Highly recommend it. Great taste, very little extract, unlike the bomb. Yeah, no, this is it. Uh, estimated Scoville's on Meaty Vegan is 600,000. Much better. What's the worst thing you've done to a customer or to anyone in general? Um. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, when I was in elementary, we were doing a CPR course, and we had to bring teddy bears to practice on. And I forgot mine in the classroom, so it got moved to the lost and found. And I went to the lost and found, and it wasn't there. So I was, you know, kind of sad. And as I was leaving the school, I saw a little girl had it, and I ran past her and just yanked it out of her hands and kept running home. How old were you? Nine. How old was the little no. girl? Younger than that. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. All right. <clears throat> Next up, Mad Dog Inferno Reserve. Estimated Scoville's 750,000. That is just R. <laughs> I may have put too much on this one. Uh, 
All right. Have you ever cheated on a test or lied on a resume? No. <laughs> Have you ever been tempted to cheat on a test or lie on a resume? No. These grades are all natural, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you been cheating this entire time? No. Okay. <laughs> I think Chase should be interviewing you. Yeah. <laughs> you should. My nose is starting to run. My sinuses are clearing. Uh. Alright. Next up, Carolina Reaper by Plant Venom. Meaty Vegan. Another calorie based company, same calorie based company. That's when Scofield's 800,000. I'll have milk this one. <laughs> Why did I agree to host this? Why did you? I don't know. I had more confidence back then. All right. I actually skipped this question. It's supposed to be like question five. Okay. Yeah, I felt like it did. How was your first time? All right, so. <laughs> Very shortly after my first kiss, at the same summer camp, with the same girl, in the same tent. In the woods? Yes, in the woods! Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to make this sexual, but I need a uh, Not gonna lie, uh, being horny teenagers in the woods for like two weeks, and it was right at the end, it was basically a feral fuck fest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, um, but it was my first time, so I can say it was, wasn't the best. I mean, I finished pretty early, but I had a few rounds in the clip, you know what I mean? Okay, yep, I got you. So, all the time added up, it was, it was pretty, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, never talked to her again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. I'm going to be concerned about here. Oh, we still have one left. Uh, last up, Blair's Ultra Death Sauce. <coughs> Estimate my Scoville is one million. <laughs> last question, four years back. What's going on in your life right now? Explain anything you want to plug, anything you want to mention. Um, um, Twitch, mention it again. You deserve it. I am starting a internet radio station. Can't, can't um, say too much yet because it's still in the works. I'm still buying things for it, getting artwork designed and stuff, but I think it's gonna be the most kick-ass classic rock station you've ever heard. And you can't tell us the name? Um, no, not yet. Can you tell us where we can find it? You'll be able to find it on my one of my uh, Twitter accounts. Which one of all? <laughs> Follow me on both at Chase the Curry. And I can't remember the other one. But on Oh, Curry? Chase the Curry, and you can also find the station on Century Media. Yeah, I like it. Well, you've done a great job today. Thank Much you. better than myself. What's the surprise, <laughs> Robbie? As a surprise, you can ask me any question you'd like. As you know, I've got three questions, so you may pick another one. I'm sure I can come up with something else from here as well, but... All right. What's a moment in a car when you thought you were going to die? Whenever I'm driving you. When editor Sam is driving. No. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's ever been a time. Okay, near accident. The scariest near accident. Probably. Oh, okay. That time, where I actually did think I was going to die. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, driving home from work one day. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I'm making it way longer than I need to be. Driving home from work one day. Just turned around the corner to the street that leads to my house. And uh, the sun was in my eyes. Couldn't see anything. Uh, next thing I know, I'm looking ahead and uh, there's a crane backing onto the road right in front of me. I swerve out of the way, go back into the lane to adjust because there's a car beside me as well. As I go back into the lane, beyond the crane is a semi truck with its ramp down. And so now I swerve again. Thankfully, the truck beside me had slowed down enough, as you saw. Go off the side of the ramp, just with my front wheel. Uh, only went about like six, ten inches up, but kept going, bounced off it. No damage to my car, thankfully. Went around, pulled over, put on my hazards. And as I look back, a car had flipped off the uh, oh. semi. So it almost GTA'd it. Well, and I thought, and I didn't even know what kind of semi it was. That's how bright the sun was. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was one that held cars, and I thought I had knocked down a car. Oh, well. Turns out, no, it was the person behind me who also couldn't okay. see, and I hit the ramp full on and went halfway up it and flipped over. Fuck. Yeah. So that was the most near death, near death accident I have encountered. All right. Thank you very much for being a gracious guest. No problem. Thoroughly Thank you for showing enjoyed me it. up. Um, we'd love to have you back again, I'm sure. Maybe Luke will like to do the next interview because he can handle himself much better than I can. But, it's coming. <laughs> But until next time, thank you very much for having me as a guest, Lucas, who's off in the corner. Thanks again, Chase, for coming on. And thank you, Sam, for doing all this editing probably <laughs> in the next day or two, so it'll all be out at once. Awesome. Thanks for having me, guys, and I will see you next time. Subscribe to Robbie Vapes. <laughs>